Hi, I'm Jeff with Blackout Lighting Console, and today I'm at Lux Lighting, a specialty lighting rental house here in Industry City, Brooklyn. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to connect your lights to Blackout. There are quite a few ways to connect your lights to Blackout because it works both wired and wireless and uses the industry standard protocols of ArtNet and SACN, which makes it compatible with literally hundreds of devices on the market. If you are completely new to DMX, ArtNet, and SACN, I highly recommend you check out this video. To get ArtNet or SACN data out of your iPad, you need to have an ethernet adapter. Now, if you have a newer iPad, you have a USB-C connector. So this could literally be any cheap USB-C to ethernet adapter on the market. If you have an older iPad with the lightning connector, you will need the specific L5 net cable from Red Park. Once you've plugged in your adapter to your iPad, you can connect any ArtNet or SACN node through ethernet, and there are a ton of options out there. Here we have the Entech ODE. You input SACN or ArtNet data via Ethernet, and through their software, you can configure the DMX output to whatever universe you want. Here I have the EDMX4 Pro by DMX King, which is one of the cheapest four port gateways on the market. It has a PoE port, which means not only do you send it data over ethernet, you also have to send it power over ethernet. You cannot connect your iPad directly to a PoE gateway because it doesn't provide power. You first have to go through a PoE switch, but this makes it super versatile because with one cable, you can run this anywhere in your stage, powering it and sending it data. If you want to learn how to configure your DMX King, check out this video or click the links in the description below. If you're using ArtNet, make sure that your gateway's ArtNet offset matches Blackout's ArtNet offset. So we have our iPad connected with an ethernet dongle and ethernet to our PoE switch, which is powered by the wall and is now sending data as well as power to our PoE gateway. From here, it's as simple as connecting your DMX cables to your lights. And now you have blackout talking with your lights. Well, this is a great solution and by far the most robust because it has the least amount of latency, you may find yourself too tethered to your DMX cables, which is why a lot of people are turning to wireless DMX. Wireless DMX consists of a transmitter and a receiver system. I'll plug my transmitter into my gateway and my receiver into my light. And now I have an untethered solution which allows me to move about my lights more freely. This is the same setup we just had, but we're now going to replace our tether connection from our iPad with Wi-Fi. This is a cheap Wi-Fi router I bought off of Amazon, but it could be any Wi-Fi router or access point. We simply connect our ethernet now to our Wi-Fi, lose the dongle, and now connect our iPad's Wi-Fi to our router. Note, this router does not have to be connected to the internet. We're going to use this in a closed network situation, which means it's off the grid because there's no reason for it to be connected to the internet. Just like we replaced the DMX cable with wireless DMX, we're replacing our ethernet connection with Wi-Fi. This is the cheapest fully wireless option because you can spec your own router and your own gateway. But obviously, the limit of how far you can walk is going to greatly depend on what router you buy. There are a lot of devices out there which make this setup a whole lot cleaner, like the Rat Pack AKS, which is a router, gateway, and CRMX transmitter all in one. Because this is battery powered, this is by far the cleanest and most mobile solution on the market. You can literally clip this onto your belt, connect up to its Wi-Fi through your iPad, and be transmitting CRMX to your receivers. For those night exteriors where you have lights and lifts or across busy streets, this is definitely an amazing option to go running around with. If you wanna learn how to transmit multiple universes wirelessly, make sure to check out the link in the description below. The latest CRMX transmitters are Bluetooth capable and can connect directly to Blackout via Bluetooth. Just go into the link status dropdown, select Bluetooth, and connect to your device. The thing to note about Bluetooth is that its range is dramatically smaller than Wi-Fi, and it's also a lot slower, which means that effects are not going to be output smoothly, 
which is why we've disabled effects in Blackout over Bluetooth. So if you want to run effects, you have to be wired or wireless. So those are three completely different ways you can connect Blackout to your lights. Hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video informative. Check out Lux Lighting here in Industry City, Brooklyn, and I'll see you in the next video.